hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today on this channel i'm going to be talking to you guys about the eight things you pay for when you pay for a custom cake okay so we know that custom cakes are regularly more like normally more expensive than store-bought cakes and the reason is because it is not just a cake you're paying for not just the cake you're paying for a lot more than the cake so today i'm going to be bringing you eight things that you're paying for aside for the cake that you paid your custom baker for okay so if you haven't followed me could you please subscribe to this channel and give me a thumbs up on this video before we get started okay so starting number one you are paying for someone to help design the cake okay and when i say design i'm talking about like virtually design it like listen to you and listen to your ideas and then bring your ideas together in like an actual cake so you're talking about like physically designing and virtually designing so number two you're also paying for their car maintenance so like if maybe like they have you're helping them pay for their car insurance basically and that's because they use their cars a lot because use your cars a lot when it comes to designing and like making those beautiful cakes that you love to see so if something happens to the car or maybe there's been an accident or like something weird went on yes so you're also paying for that so if you're a baker you need to think about all of those things when you are costing your custom cakes because it is not just cake you're offering otherwise you would be wasting your time and giving away your goods for free so you are paying someone basically to drive to the store aside like maintaining the car like you know you're paying someone to drive to the store and buy all of the things that you need for the cake and sometimes bakers do not just go to one store to buy all of the things not like in your grocery store sometimes they have like several stores you have to maybe get flour and sugar and stuff here and then you have a different place where you get your butter and like you know um, dairy products and stuff sometimes you have a different place where you can get cake boards and all of that and you have to pick them up sometimes cake toppers and then basically like you have a cake vendor like and sometimes it can be several of them that like offer you different things at different times so you have to drive there so you take your time to drive there you take your car there and you have to pay like the expenses that a car and the moving around in cure so when you're paying a custom baker you're paying for their time to buy the things they need to make the cake and you're also paying for their transportation which is maintenance on the car fuel for the car and all of that so number one we talked about paying for designing the cake and then number two we are talking about um, paying basically for their transportation and moving around that they incur when they are making your custom cakes okay so number three and number three we are talking about like the several classes that you've paid for for them to be as good as they are right now so if you're conversant with cake decoration you know that cake classes are very expensive and usually cake classes teach maybe one particular technique and there are thousands basically of different kinds of techniques to make different kinds of cakes so you basically as a baker have to be upgrading like as often as you can so you won't be outdated so when you're paying a baker for a custom cake you're also paying for the time the amount of money and the amount the, the years they've spent in learning new techniques and paying for cake classes learning to make like um designs that are like in at the moment and everything so you have to bear that in mind as a baker if you're charging your customers so number four apart from also paying your baker like the money for the classes they've spent and all of that and everything it takes years of experience and practice to be able to make a really nice good looking custom cake you can decide to pay for as many classes as you want you can decide to pay for ten thousand classes a year if you want but the skill and like the finesse comes with experience you need to have done this for a while and the more you do the better it gets like the more cakes you make the neater they become the finer the more attention you pay to details the more you learn how to and how not to make it so you're also paying for their years of experience so number five you're paying for the wear and tear on the tools they use here yeah. because use a lot of tools most things we don't make them with just our hands because you need like a lot of tools because usually for custom cakes there are several other components so you're paying you're, you're paying for like the wear and tear on the mixers on the fondant sheeters on basically a lot so you're paying for that as well okay so number seven you are paying for the cost of utilities yes they need electricity to bake you know that they need water they need um gas sometimes if they use gas they need maybe air conditioning while they bake because you know um the environment needs to be cool enough so you don't sweat 
up on your fondant and all of that so you pay for the utilities the cost of the utilities they incur when they decorate your cake so you're not just paying for light water gas you're paying for like those like taking out the trash can like like all of those basic little expenses they didn't cure so by the time you think about this this is the reason why like custom cakes are expensive okay so number seven you're paying for their time yes custom cakes take a lot of time i'm not talking about those like industrially made cakes where like like a lot of them are made in batches and like made um in bulk basically i'm talking about someone sits down to mix a cake to put it in the oven waits for it to bake to cool to decorate all of that you're paying for their time you're paying for their energy you're paying for the finesse they've gotten over the years okay so lastly and finally you are paying for what's the last one sorry guys <laughs> okay you're paying for like you know the other things for example where they bake they don't bake on the street yeah you have to pay for rent you have to pay or maybe a mortgage or maybe um you have to pay pay basically for them to live a good life because imagine like you are you have a job and you work at your job and then they pay they don't pay you enough for you to be able to like they don't pay you a living wage you'd be miserable so you want to make sure like when um a cake baker asks you for this is my price you want to make sure you try to pay that as much as possible because they work hard and they deserve to earn a living wage so thank you guys if you enjoyed this video i'm sorry i was posting a lot Please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram on Instagram as double underscore escape me away. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in my future videos. Bye.